this is the first time Bruce ever drank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's vodka. Yeah. Oh. Uh, those millionaires. And what are we supposed to be? Uh, <laughs> That's our take on millionaires. Yes, those are our, our take on yeah. cartoon millionaires. Yeah. We think wasn't this myth. somebody's uh, favorite scene? Was this Bruce's dad? Bruce's dad. dad. And also, uh, uh, Bruce told me that this was a cartoon that he drew in Calgary first, and then he made this uh, sketch, True Born Story. Yeah. 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 So this is our uh, pilot when we were, uh, look. Look. Were the kids in the hall children. talking, by the way? We were kids. We're four of uh, the kids in the hall talking. Yes, that's me. That was Bruce in the stroller. <laughs> yeah. There's Sorry. me. I'm Dave Foley. Oh, something bit you in the toilet. There. Oh, that's me, Kevin McDonald. Oh, you're balancing. Oh, your balance. oh. Mark. Wow, oh, I hurt my hand. I still have that injury. I collect on it. Oh. Yes. Oh, here we go again. I haven't shown Scott yet, but we. And it's Bruce. Bruce. Uh, we all s sort of still look yeah, like it's ourselves. Me still. Well, I still. I'd say the motion. most. I think Kevin looks the most like he did then. Now. Yeah. I, I think Bruce looks the most like. Yeah. We're thinking well, maybe Scott, Scott, Scott does, too. Maybe Scott or Scott. Very well too. preserved. It's me and Dave, yeah. the Toronto contingent, who have bloated with coffee and fat. Yeah. <laughs> my head got bigger. Stop That's drinking My head got stand. wider. My head just got... My head and ribcage got bigger. I don't, yeah. Oh, oh, here we are. Guys Watch Girls. Yes. Guys Watch Girls is a scene. And this is an old staple of our stage show. Actual meat. Actual meat. Yeah, we couldn't afford fake meat. Yeah. <laughs> this is stunk. It did after a while. I'm sure. I remember that before this, I don't know if we used anything from the first taping. We did two tapings for the oh, show, yes. and in between tapings, Lorne Michaels took us into a room and told us what, Kevin? I can't remember. Uh, exactly. uh, that the show was god awful, uh -huh. and that it had to be 100,000 times better uh, for us to get a chance to uh, to have the pilot become a TV series. Yeah. And then Scott and I peed in the sink. I and then he, what? He actually said, I guess you guys don't want to have a TV show. That's uh, right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he did. You know, it, you know, it wasn't very good. I remember saying that. And then we, we pissed in the sink, and that began that tradition. And no, then we trashed the dressing room. We trashed room. the dressing room, yes. Yeah. Were we, we that? Every, we now, broke do every chair. Was, do you think it was, the first taping was actually that, that bad? or? Yeah. It was? Yeah, it was. It was pretty was. bad. Yeah. We were very... Uh, it was no laughs, no laughs. We were pretty I, stiff. I remember we were doing things like letting the uh, the uh, floor director tell us where to stand. And that right. sort of oh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then the second show, we just started running around oh. the studio and doing whatever we wanted. And I also remember that Dave and I... Did, to wake ourselves up, we played uh, the Godfather's song, uh, Birth, oh, School, Work, work Death, death yeah. and, which was a good punky rock song, and that got us, that woke us up a bit too. Yeah, and then we smashed up a bunch of chairs. And that's I when think we, that's when we started I breaking saw things. Carl yeah. recently, and he was telling me that after that it caused a huge commotion, and he said to everybody that, don't worry, this is what they need to do. And uh, mm -hmm. we did. I'm actually eating that sandwich, I noticed. It's getting smaller. And oh. <laughs> you remember what it was? Yeah. And not enough so you. You're getting smaller. And I'm getting smaller <laughs> in the same Yeah, no one knows. No one, there, there's not a lot of, I mean, I think there's a, Bellini has a tape of, of you and me doing Island Boys, Kevin, where you're big. Yes. And I, that's about the only thing I have. Like, Kevin used to be the fat guy. Yes. yes. Thank you. But and, he betrayed the troop by losing weight. Yeah. Yes. I was told that every troop needed a fat guy and uh, that we get famous if there was one. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And you were willing to risk our, our future. I was. For yeah. your health. I'm selfish. Yes. selfish. But I'm really eating that sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> and Did you go and vomit after? Yes. Yeah. Because that was the thing. And Lauren became very concerned that you were uh, anorexic. Yes. Because you lost 60 pounds. I and he also was concerned that you would be the fat guy and the gay guy, so I decided that I would take that mantle. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't be two guys. You couldn't be both. <laughs> I can't be two guys. But I, I refuse to get fat. Yeah. Did we, did we tape in this order pretty well? Uh, I don't. I don't, I don't remember. remember if we opened with this or not. But I think the order was mixed <laughs> up pretty. Mi I mean, we may have opened with this, but I know the order was pretty mixed up from what we did it. I can't remember what we opened with. It was it kind of might have been this. It might have been this. You know what though? We also had like a, Reg was a runner. Really? In That's the pile. Right. Remember? Oh, yeah. we had, was that Dan Redican played Reg. Yeah. Uh, Dan Redican, the comic genius, played uh, Reg's father. Yeah. I, remember, I just remember that he threw me around. Yeah. And oh, the, that was funny. And the Reg, the the real Reg scene was the uh, was the last one, right? Or was it not? Or was well, the one with Dan? It was the last, last one, one, yeah. What happened to those those scenes with the father, with uh, Dan? Cutting room floor. Yeah, cutting, they should go yeah. in, the, in the special extras. Yeah. I think they, uh, they, I think they swept the cutting room floor yeah. since really? then. Really? I don't know if they oh, kept any of that. Bad. Now later, Chris Cooper started keeping things. I think, but this was way before yeah. uh, Chris Cooper, our editor. So and yeah. there were some yeah. there were some sketches that were cut out, and uh, most of Kevin's performances. Yes. Right. What was cut from this? Asshole was cut. Right. Oh. And, uh, and uh, my, my monologue in Beautiful Trees was. And cut. my monologue. 
about uh, being in the the one where I'm talking about being in the bathtub and hey you asshole get out of my bathtub ah here we go I don't remember this uh, character. I, me well, watch his fingers. It's self-explanatory. What's he gonna do? I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, just what does he? What does he think is happening? What's he doing with his? I don't finger? know. Oh, I get it. Oh. Yeah. And this was this was a hit out of the gate, but I remember at the read through, uh, uh, Lauren going, uh, "Interesting character." <laughs> <laughs> then later he made us do it again. Yeah. This was a nice free. park across from the old Second City, and uh, the very first time I went to Second City, where I would meet Dave later, I was three hours early because I miscalculated the buses, so I walked around this park. So when I'm filming the sketch right now, I'm thinking, wow, this is where my comedy career started. This was our very uh, first And this was also shoot. very interesting because this was our, our first exterior yeah. shoot, and uh, uh, the, the CBC, you know, obviously we weren't a high priority. We asked for Dolly, and they sent down a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Named Dolly. True yeah. story. Yes. True story. They did hate us then. Everybody that was assigned to our show were people that were being punished. Punished is yes. true. But we won them over because when they got drunk later at parties, they would say, you know, we hated working with you guys at first, but now they we love it. it. But they love talking about hating us. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Shoes. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, there's Gordon and Brian. Uh, the, he's supposed to be a guy in his 40s or 50s, Bruce, but there's no makeup to, to, to indicate it. Oh. But there's a guy in his 40s and 50s. Yeah, there's <laughs> also a woman. no makeup. That's how it works. Yeah, and there's, no bra. We didn't. No bra. Did we have an we ethic? Have we did. We had an ethic, uh, ethical case against wearing uh, false padded bras, which we got over. Which fell apart right away. Yeah. No, uh, actually, so. Fran never wore, never wore a bra. No. Oddly enough, this is my this is my favorite sketch by Scott Thompson oh, a long time ever. Yeah, he, and I remember I've never touched it since. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I remember that that if you remember when Bruce and I went to SNL uh, to write and Dave was doing uh, high stakes and you guys were in the the touring company that Christmas after that disastrous New Year's Eve show that you did we had, we did a show at the Rivoli and I think this is when the scene was done. I think mm, so. Yeah. yeah, that and a few other like I uh, did it with a vacuum with a light on the front. I remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot of fun. And this is the scene that we did in New York with the AIDS ferry that was later cut out. Yeah. Yeah. Which we got booed for in, in New York. In New York, six or seven. Yes. In the middle of the AIDS epidemic. Yeah, because New York Square. Look, here's that York York University drama training player. He's working a prop. <laughs> he's got business. Effortlessly. Look at business. him. Business. Yeah, he's got business. I need business. <laughs> no, the right hand's a little confused. Now, who did our wigs then? Because... Oh, so, um, that CBC woman, uh, what's her name? I forget. You look a little bit like I Brian Jones remember. from the Rolling Stones. We had terrible <laughs> wigs. Kevin, tell the wig story. Well, yeah, I was saying um, by uh, the end of season one or beginning of season two, we were being interviewed by someone uh, from The Advocate, and uh, it was a good interview, and at the end he said, by the way, who does your wigs? They're awful. And then <laughs> yeah. And that started festering us, and we got obsessed. And then I think we, uh, John Blanchard said, "Well, Judah Coop Cooper Seeley may be free. We could ask her." And that's how she got on board. Yeah, yeah. And they were right. That is a pretty bad. One. I don't remember John saying it like Uncle Sambo, though. <laughs> that's yes, exactly. Judah Cooper Seeley. Cooper Seeley. He's available. I was doing like Dean Martin. Is she going come down do your wigs? <laughs> I was aiming for Dean Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I Look like that set. That's Eugene were. Lee. It kind of worked. He crammed it yeah, all into yeah. one little studio. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. This is interesting to talk about if you're boring. The yeah. uh, the the look in our show was sort of like found stuff in a junkyard, and uh, it was pretty neat for for the pilot. But we sort of dismissed that as soon as we became a regular TV series. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was and the all... lighting is good because Phil Himes came up from New York. He works on Saturday yes. Night Live. Did our lighting, and yeah. Eugene Levy came with his crew. And... We had a surrealistic. Eugene Lee. Eugene, Eugene Lee, Lee, sorry. Eugene Levy is... Uh, uh, he's on uh, he was never SCTV. There at all. Thank you. He did the lighting for SCTV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was no, a surrealistic look that we had that we dropped. Uh, yeah, you like guys missed the surrealistic look? And, yeah. Yeah. It was the idea that, that we were doing our show like just in a, in alleyways and in a junkyard, a junkyard and, and using found props. So, like, some of the scenes are set in the living room, you'll see, but it's actually a loading dock. Should we have stuck with it for all five years, or would have got tired? Yes, it probably would have got tired. Well, we talked about keeping the whole set as like a home base, but it was far, far too large. And then we never did. We ever really get a home base yes, place we did that have we a home base. we yeah. sort of like did. A, that sort of that he has something we called home base, but it was like a dark. It was like a dark little corner with nondescript sort of walls. I mean, you know, you could have done modern dance in front of it. Yeah. You know. Oh, yes. comedy's happening here, but it could have yeah. been a mime. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know. This is a neat set. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here comes Attila. Oh, oh look at those abs. Balls. Oh, yeah. Attila. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at the jaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The jaw was part of the set. <laughs> that was funny. You look like two children. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Well, we were. They look like brothers. Because <laughs> I what was I was 24. Excellent. Let's see. We did the summer video. You were 25. 25. And uh, Mark was 29. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? I had very weak neck muscles. <laughs> That scene is what took place at the AIDS ferry, which was originally there until we yeah. got uh, mobbed by the crowd in New York. Mm -hmm. What did the AIDS ferry do? It, I, I was the AIDS ferry, and I no, it was the last scene. It was the second time yeah. we come back to them. Oh, the and second time. Like, yeah. His right. nightmare is that we, we we filled a bucket full of confetti and marked <laughs> and I, AIDS, and we and flung I it at the audience. Yeah. And look, it's like the AIDS ferry. Yeah. I'm the AIDS ferry. Right? We have some age dust. I'm the age very yes. high. As Mark pretended to be an airplane and and uh, flew into my ass. Yeah. <laughs> and go. It is funny. It was the dad's horrific, uh, horrific yeah. uh, fantasy of what gay meant. Yeah. We weren't celebrating. AIDS. I can't believe that I'm not wearing a wedding ring. How silly of me. Hmm. Never even thought about that. I think it's probably stuck to the laundry, Scott. Oh, probably. God, I'm acting a lot, aren't I? This Look is a good scene. It is a good scene. It's sort of a defining scene. You see the scene? It, yeah. Like, if you only have time to see one kids in the hall scene to get us, this could be one of them. Yeah, this is very kind of poetic. And yeah. Poor man. <laughs> now, except for the head crusher, most of these scenes in this uh, pilot were scenes we had done on stage. That, yeah. That's interesting. That's right, because Head Crusher was just... We remembered that in New York. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, as, if I had real breasts, I wouldn't be needing them like that, would I? Maybe. You think so? I guess not at that age, you'd be bored with them. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then you'd probably be bored with them. When you were 18 to 24, maybe. I'd be needing them, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I remember Bruce that. needing his cock under. I think below the frame he's needing his. Bruce cock. never got bored of his cock. No, <laughs> he still needs it. <laughs> he's needing it now. <laughs> How yeah, could we afford easy. this? Because <laughs> we did that. You know, Attila. Oh, the Smith shirt. Uh, it's a Smith shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I saw Morrissey at a concert last week. Did you? Yeah. Whose concert? Iggy Pop. Ah, how was it? That would have been Stooges. It was great. Well, Morrissey was standing with Jack Black. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And this is part of our trademark look: the Super yeah. Eight. Yeah, these people aren't whatever. actors or extras; they're real people living their lives that we were uh, capturing on uh, Super Eight. Because that's where we came from. Oh, here we go. Oh, here, here comes you. another hit character. Yeah. Hit character coming. Or what? <laughs> I didn't think about sleeping with you. Long time before you. Why don't we see him yet? Yeah, long time before you. Oh, that's oh, why. I see. Yeah. And this is real cabbage, right? I we see. Just, this is his tie's actual, undone. That's actual cabbage leaves on his head. Yes. Because mm -hmm. remember, after the first show bombed, he stole the cabbage on his head, and he looked—he <laughs> looked more sad than the rest of us. Yeah. You can trash a dressing room if you've got a cabbage on your head, though. You, well, you get away with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'll let the little cabbage head trash thing. God, listen to how high I can make my boy. I can't do that anymore. Mm hmm Sure you can. Try it. Well, well, maybe. No, it's it's that's lower. It, Sting can't sing Roxanne high anymore either. So, uh, what's the word on that, uh, good night, Nookie? I don't think so. I had a bad childhood. This is a true story. True story. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this scene. I don't either. Oh, hmm? I wish Bruce was here to talk about it. What, about the genesis of uh, Cabbage Head? Oh, I remember something happen? boring. Different hmm? women uh, played the... Uh, different, sorry, Kids in the Hall played the women in this scene during the stage days, and, uh, and then it became Mark for whatever reason. Might yeah. have just been seen or... Maybe that high voice. Who could, uh, yeah, voice. who could change our clothes fast enough? Yes, it might have just been that. Because we tried to run it like a live show. Yes. Mm -hmm. in front of the that's, audience. that's interesting, Dave. Tell them more about that. Well, we tried to run it like a live show. See? I, okay, just repeat that sentence over and over again. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. So we would, uh, we, see, when we had to change wardrobe, we'd run back and they'd peel off our clothes from us and change our makeup and then shove us back out on stage. 
Now, did we have Shadowy Man playing in the pilot, or did they come later? In, yeah, in our they, show, they were there. Show, we had, we had, instead of a, a comic in between our uh, scenes, we had Shadowy Man, the rock man, that played our theme music. Mm-hmm. They would play in between, but I'm trying to remember if they were here at the pilot. Yeah, they were there. I, I, I have no idea. I forget. I forget, too. Hey, listen, yeah, I'm pretty sure they were there. Mark has a complete apartment there on the other side. We just didn't show it. Yeah. But they made it. Yeah, it helped Mark. Mark demanded it. Too. Yeah. yeah. I made really irrational mm-hmm. demands back then. Oh, there are shadows again. Uh, oh, uh, is this a salty oh, ham? Crying? Is this crying guy? This, I believe, oh, is crying guy. Oh, I think it is. Guy. Crying guy. And uh, oh, this was this was not part of the stage show. This was this was written for the special. Oh yeah, for the special. Oh, yeah, for the special. Yeah. Yes, and I was supposed to be the straight guy in this, but because of scene order. Yeah. This guy never came back, did he? Uh, who? No, yeah, I was in the cast. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We, that's we, Dave. We did do yeah. another. Crying. Why didn't no, this no. guy come back? This, this would have been a good running character. Yeah. What happened to Crying Guy? Did he become Sarcastic Guy? What was? Well, he yeah, first? we did Sarcastic Guy. We tried to do that twice, but the second Sarcastic Guy didn't make it either. I don't think. Yeah. I wasn't really into recurring characters at the time. We never like really thought about them that much. Recurring characters. Then we had to. And, well, and then some like, I like we him. wanted to play over and over. Yeah. yeah. And that's the Romeo set. Right that's in the special, isn't hey, it? This is our first real cut to uh, reveal gag. Mm-hmm. And I think this woman looks like uh, she could be Dave's sister. Yeah, she does. She looks like Dave and Drag. Yeah. Well, Dave's a little prettier. Yeah. Little prettier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's funny. It's a funny. It's good, Christ. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what was important about this? This was the closest thing we had to a cut two in the pilot. The cut two kind of sketch where you cut yeah. something funny. This, yeah, that was, that was it was an in, inherently a, a TV sketch, yes. not a stage sketch. Yes. And so it was Head Crusher because you had the finger and the thumb and you see... And then we proceeded in, in the first few episodes of our series to roll out every precious stage sketch we had at full length, completely out of the ignoring trunk. the... I believe they called Out of the Trunk. Yeah. Yeah. Look, they look like brother and sister. They really do. Mm-hmm. I always thought that when we were filming right? I never quite noticed it until now. Look at that. <laughs> you see, he cries all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was he she didn't... told not to react at all? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to act no, when we're doing shtick. This is funny. Yes. <laughs> sure it does. <laughs> Look, and you see, it's a loading back. dock. The back is the iron yeah. Wa- yeah. gate. See, we're like doing it in the junkyard. Oh, I think back to that Wait part. Now, this might be a nice tracking shot. Oh, there's a crying guy. Hey, we oh, were smart. Recur, recur. Oh, now it's coming together. <laughs> yeah. I always thought that, that the lines that that Head Crusher said were really bald and and lame, but it was. Mm-hmm. It didn't matter what That's you the said. Fun of it. It's just that you were <laughs> saying something. Yeah. Yeah. That's not Scott. I know. No, it's that. not. <laughs> no. That's not Scott. <laughs> That's, That's Scott. Scott. That's yeah. me. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I'm really not in this show. I'm Kevin. You did get a lot cut in this one, Kev, yeah. Yeah, somebody involved... Is this why you wrote more than anyone else for the next five years? <laughs> it could have been. Yeah. Never again. I put three in the morning. I have 19 more pieces of crap to read. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had a fella working on the show who wasn't really into your stuff. He wasn't into my stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. And yet he was into the editing room. He, yeah, he once said cut and said, stop making faces. That, that's all I do. <laughs> but what else am I to do? Now, this is a stage staple. Yeah. This is a stage staple, yes. I remember this watching this go over. And we wrote, didn't we write this in New York? Because I remember, didn't it, like, we did it at the no, bottom no, line. Uh, I, no, no, we thought of it at the Rivoli. I say we, I mean uh, Bruce and Scott and then David, not me. Yeah. I'm, but I mean, I remember being. But we did it at the bottom I, line. I remember it being. We a did it at the bottom yeah. line. Yeah, we did. I and definitely I, uh, remember though it being thought of first at the Rivoli. Yeah. 
I remember. I, I have memories of seeing it be rehearsed for the. First I think time. we. I think we were still refining it when we got to New York. Yes, and this is also a defining scene if you want yeah, to see much. one kiss in the house. Because I think I remember jokes like uh, "Sorry about your hip" and that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Coming we, up, about being teen added. rebellion, drag, and perverse sexuality. It's that the kiss in the house at that time. And my part of the end, we always write it when we do it nowadays. We we still try to write that, get that part right. Mm-hmm. My part of the end. No, 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 no. Funniest part. You stay put. Oh my hip. Yeah. But we always say, oh the fire, but we always change that. Oh the fire. Oh the water. Oh the hip. <laughs> I guess we kept that. Still no breasts. We, I guess we were breastless. But oddly enough, Bruce is wearing breasts. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's a life choice. <laughs> yeah. I think words are just so so. Sensual. Yeah. Well, Bruce is wearing a uh, prosthetic forelock, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, to, be bo- to appear more boyish. Yeah. It took five hours to get that. So I'm a friend then, am I? Oh, I'm fine. Again, no aging makeup. Wait a second. A canoe club in the Gobi Desert? What? That's funny. There can't be a canoe club. That's really weird that, that someone would choose a joke t shirt. <laughs> to wear in a comedy sketch. Mm-hmm. And Bruce. I bet Bruce that. never read it, I bet. I, yeah. I bet he didn't understand. No, he was all he over did. his clothes. Yeah. But he, was, he didn't he know was, about jogger. I was the one that didn't. What? Yeah. A barrel? Huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can the barrel have straps? No? Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll hold it up. I'll hold it up myself. <laughs> It'll be my business. I hated, I hated costume fittings almost as much as I hated hair and makeup. Mm-hmm. Do you still hate them nowadays? I'm not a big fan of it. How could you, Mark? Like, I was watching you guys the other day when we were doing the show in Los Angeles. Uh, by the way, uh, listeners, we just did a, a little small club show in Los Angeles for Getting a few ready for new material. material. New material. New material. Oh, new material. Yeah. Getting ready for Just for Laughs. It was like a return to the days right before this special was shot. Yeah. And, and so, Mark, so it sort of applies. But you guys were all putting on your costumes and chatting, and I just I was dreading it. I don't believe that for you, a second. I saw you look like you were having fun. Mark. Yeah, I hate wardrobe fittings. And Now, Dave, I believe it, but Mark, I don't know if I believe that. Well, wardrobe fittings seem to especially yeah, you love hard. to transform into different people. Yeah, but not the actual wardrobe fitting. No, I like that part. But I, I don't like the, uh, oh, now you've got to actually got to pick clothes for it. I do have to I hate to putting them on and off. Yeah, I like I'm that. wearing such fuzzy clothes. After I a few years of the show, though, I get to the point where I would just go to, like, uh, Hillary and J- Jerry and Judy and and just say, can you do everything? Can you make this character for me? <laughs> can you learn the words? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to think about it. Can you just show up and make me look like somebody? Wordo fittings were especially hard on our that's show because you had fabulous. That's Scott. Is that a bonus <laughs> edition? Is that is that, that bonus not? Yeah. Scott, Scott just blew his nose. Courtesy of the Woo! Santa Ana. Just like he did when we filmed the pilot. Uh. Just like this sketch is blowing your mind. <laughs> Where'd you find those? The Christmas? Is this your mom, Dave? It looks like a her. version I look, thereof. I look a little like my mom. It is. The you reason I always thought like that is because I remember the first time I went to your house in Mississauga, uh, we rolled in at 3 o'clock in the morning. Your Tell mom got up and made us a full breakfast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> she was nice. Yeah, she didn't drink martinis that in way. the afternoon. No. She didn't act that way, but she looked that way. She did look that yeah, way. Yeah, my mom, I look a lot like my mom. You but, do. Yeah, she was... Uh, I guess Jeez. we all look like our mothers a bit when we dress the wings. I know I do. You do a bit. Mm, more like my father. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he played women in the uh, in his job at the Christmas shows or something. Yes, yeah, the Christmas shows. Yeah. He would play. He would dress up uh, as a woman or at, at uh, our family reunions. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's a lot of dressing up. It's a lot of dressing up that is necessarily <laughs> justified. Yeah. Well, the whole family would. He'd go to eight, everybody. nine Christmas parties a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From early October to February. <laughs> Here it comes. Just f- Here it comes. Uh, See, I know where the joke is. The joke is the walker. Yeah. I, put yeah. the walk- I know I'm not the joke. I know the joke God, is the walker. You almost dislocated your arm in that. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's caught. Hello, Barbara. I'm betrayed. Barbara. Barbara. World, friend. 
Rusty. So I do know that. That was hard. Mm-hmm. We still get that wrong. Yeah. Right? yeah. Rusty. Rusty. Oddly enough, the guy who wasn't in that beat was the one who would always have to say no. <laughs> <laughs> you, then yeah, you, then you. Yeah. yeah, Dave always tells us what to do. And your way, Kevin. You what a disaster. Oh, the sprinkler. Right, here we go. Oh, here it comes. And next. There you go. <laughs> hey, there. I have a Pavlovian response to that. I know I have to be getting ready for something. <laughs> yeah. I know that line. That's right. <laughs> Let me explain. Some it's a long scene. Oh, but it is. Yeah. But it deserves, I mean, it works the whole way. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of our encore scenes uh, the, when we do a live show or something. Yeah. Coming to Tina, you will come again tomorrow, won't you? Won't you? I'm not a plaything, I'm a senior. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to learn the difference. Look at oh look, Bruce uh, Mal Matt? Scott. Was lines. he mouthing the line? Did he really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You used to do that oh, all man, the time. He's still <laughs> I see mouth my lines on the special. And now you take the clothes off, don't you, and become yeah. something? Yeah. Yes, look at me, he's transforming. Uh, oh my god, where did that character go? Does this go into... Are we doing confession? Yep, this was yeah. confession. Oh, yeah. This was now a piece, that was written uh, for the special. Actually, it was a piece we did at the... Rivoli. Oh, yeah. The showcase we did for Lauren. My name is... And oh, we did this in at the last moment, did we not? It was at Lor- Lauren insisted we put this in. Ah, I wasn't he, wasn't that just filler for some other scenes? No, that was the one that Lauren yeah. liked. He yeah. also wanted us to be ourselves. I and this was, is the first time that we're ourselves in the show, I think. Yeah. Right. Yes. He thought that was important, like Chevy chasing. I think he was, he was right because we did. Yeah. I mean, we always were ourselves, and we didn't have it in the special. Good God, I was skinny. You so now, were. God, look at that. The scientists amongst you. Yep. And you never wore jeans. I don't remember the first time I ever saw you wearing jeans. You always no. wore. You always dress at little Lord Fauntleroy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when did you start wearing jeans, Dave? Um, when you moved to California? I don't know. No, that was during the TV show. I wore them, but I didn't wear much because I looked like I was 12 years old. So. What's up? You like to wear tried suits. Tried to dress a little older. Something happened. We also did this on our uh, radio show that we had for Ryerson College. Yeah, except it was yeah, except it was just Mark doing the confession. It was, it was and now this week's confession. That's right. That's right. Didn't do anything. All right. Wait, you don't think I had anything to do with that bit of business up at the mine? That's a bright shirt. <laughs> because I didn't. <laughs> okay. I was nowhere near the mine. I don't even know where that mine is, David. <laughs> I don't know if I needed to add the southern accent. I know all <laughs> comedians do that. Yeah. Except for that British or southern. Yeah. yeah. Now, That's David, funny. you stop looking at me like that because I'm telling you honestly, I was nowhere near the man. If you don't believe me, why don't you go ask Bobby? Remember, this scene was shorter than Robert Boyd urged you to write more. And then, yeah. we then you weren't thinking about an imaginary more. guy coming up go or something. Ask him. They'll tell you I was nowhere near the man, David. I swear to God, I didn't do anything. David, I swear to God, now you got to. All right, I did it! <laughs> <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I had to do it. I was being controlled. <laughs> being controlled by Mr. Vitalis. Right, Mr. Vitalis. This, this was the new part that you wrote Come just for this. Mr. <laughs> okay, it's officially too yeah. long this piece now. <laughs> <laughs> See, we didn't need Mr. Vitalis. It was quite perfect, the, was perfect the way it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, our director thought that, uh, that I remember him saying, well, this is his first idea. It should go crazier. Yeah. And so you wrote Mr. Vitalis. That's a funny name, though. I do it again. What comes after this? Hmm? Come on, David, what I comes next? Does it go into, right into another scene? I, was being mm, Dave, I, did it. Can I, I can't remember. We didn't do... Uh, Probably a commercial. I haven't movie. seen this in a long time. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen yeah, this. I'd rather movie. just watch it and not talk. Oh, I see. It comes back to yeah. I didn't do it. I, I didn't do it. Yeah. Thank you. See, that was heard no, by the it's... Mr. Vitalis extra beat that, uh, that we did. Yeah. No, I should have just confessed and then... And then confessed and to then not... And then confessed to not doing it. Yeah. We didn't need Mr. Vitalis. No. Yes. Let's take that out it. on the next... Can we cut that now? Yeah. Oh, it's hello. It's the hair. Oh, head crush How crushy many? guy. That means we do it four times. See? He's also at the end. Static camera because I think even the wheelchair they sent was broken. Yeah. Had someone in it, actually. Yeah. I'm just crushing the heads that need to 
Now this is Scott is the old one. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, look at how fluffy my now, sweater is. Is this your old woman from the scene, Romeo, or is it just yeah. another old Same woman? old woman. Yeah. Yeah, it was how we tied the show together. Mm-hmm. Loosely. It was fun the day of the park. Oh, yeah. And then somehow or another, we managed to actually do this sketch again years later. Yeah. Twice. We, we sort of did it, yeah. We did it very, sorry, we repeated oh, it. Yeah. Slightly rewrote it. Well, yeah, we did the I'm squishing your face. Yeah, the, this one I'm actually crushing your head, right? And the next yeah. one I, I, I became pinching. Squish facing. And we also somehow do this on stage. Mm-hmm. And it's here comes beautiful yeah, part of it. That's a nice shot. It is a nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> we took dancing lessons. For- yeah. <laughs> Did you really? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's retarded. I didn't see you there. <laughs> oh, are you with me? <laughs> this taught me the meaning of the word etiolate, which I use a lot. I just drop. Yeah. It's a very handy word to yeah. s- describe the fanning out of a process. What do you think? Courtney Cox, Kevin? Who do you remind me of? There? I wish. I think a young Elizabeth Taylor. I <laughs> think so. In drag. <laughs> Look at the little collar on Dave. Oh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe I don't Did you borrow that shirt from the prodigious <laughs> hickey? Look at that <laughs> yeah. jacket. That was all my, that was all my Salvation Army clothes. I remember how Dave and I wrote the scene. That's here. Well, it's boring, but here we go. Uh, Dave and I live close. To, we live in the same apartment building, so did Bruce. And uh, he came over, uh, and we were watching Gone with the Wind. And Leslie Howard said something similar to what the ca- my character says, and it triggered off us spritzing, and we wrote a scene. And then we did it oh, the That's kind of scary because the confession scene you just saw, the, the southern woman I'm doing, is definitely uh, you know Scarlett O'Hara-ish. Almost everything we wrote was based on Gone, Gone with, with the Wind for the first yes. several yeah. years. Or yeah. Tennessee Williams. Oh, because Leslie Howard said something about, I love the trees, I love the way that... And we, we took that and made it Ran with it. Ran with it. Look at your shoulder pads. Yeah, you can hear yeah. Terrence Hart. This is a 40s speech. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I have no shoulders, so the uh, wardrobe people always uh, put uh, a lot of shoulder pads on me. So it must look like that. I have big shoulders, but, but I don't. don't love you. But you said you loved everything about well, I love everything about you. I know it's funny, isn't it? This is a good Dave idea. Mm-hmm. This, is a, this symbolizes a Dave idea for me. It's sort of a, a smart and somehow a big hook. Take the tree, for example. <laughs> I can't believe there's music creeping in off of that. Mm-hmm. Look at it's our good. Tree. Look at our tree. <laughs> Would they have played that live in studio, or is this a post? I think it was put in post. And I can be enthralled by the branches, each bud, twig, and leaf. Yeah, this was. But put them all together and nothing. Icky, icky tree. Icky, icky tree. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that tree. And it's very much the same with you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So you should have had a pop. Some yeah. sort of soda. Yeah. It yeah. was a spit take without any ammo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a master of the dry take. Yeah. You must like me an awful lot. No, that's the blank unholy irony of it. I don't even like you. Big Dave words. Will you marry me? No, I will not marry you. I won't you. marry you. Push, that's a relief. <laughs> 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 Darling. No, <coughs> for I cannot see you anymore. But why? <laughs> because you don't like me. How can I see someone who doesn't even like me? Gee, I guess I never really thought of it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're doing sort of mock melodrama. But that's interesting. To yeah. Step back from things and oh, yeah, this is funny. see them for what they really are. You're a guy in drag. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Now on stage, they would sometimes take five minutes to leave. Remember, you ran around and, and just uh, scream. Yeah, yeah, scream. When we were short on scenes, so mm-hmm. I had a monologue, there, a short little uh, paragraph of uh, comedy that. That was, was very funny. It was and very you remember, funny. If we ever do that on stage, you would remember speech. it again, would Dave? You would. So remember. here I stand, alone. My friendless. past receding behind me, the future encroaching. I forget. Oh, oh well, yeah, welcome. Pretty close. Who's this guy? I don't know. He just came in and did this bit. What's that on your head? 
<laughs> a squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is that? that mean? Is that your hair? It is my own it, hair. Is it? That is. That was the best hair of the show. That was no the. That was the, that was the, that was the only hair, hair in the show. show. Mm -hmm. That was the most successful hair of the show. This is a good joke fest. In a, in a alleyway. My own bar. It makes sense, except you, for the junk on your behind your left shoulder. Mm -hmm. Do you do you remember what joke I wrote for this? Uh, we have to listen. Which where is vacuum? It? Why do we have to listen? We know it by vacuum. heart. Vacuum. <laughs> yeah. Right. Is it? It's the vacuum one, right? Um. It's around there. Ten, yeah. They immediately rush out and vacuum their start vacuuming That's their right. cars. Yeah. I remember. Wrote this. Remember Mark when we were living together in the clown's room? In the mime, wasn't he a mime? <laughs> no, he's a clown yeah. and a mime. But he would combine clown. Oh and my God! We work. shared a bed. That's right. We shared a you bed. You guys lived. And together? there was a unicycle yeah. on the wall. On the wall. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you guys lived together. Yeah. He was in. I was uh, back from Paris New York and I had no money. Uh, that's right. Mm -hmm. I remember. That's a great joke. That's a good joke. Still the fighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First buddy. Oh, I actually spilled. <laughs> Do you actually pick it up? I gotta go back to my real hair. This set a very, very high standard, which all 137 Buddy Cole monologues have met. <laughs> yeah. With ease. <laughs> Sorry, 138. It's been a yeah, week exactly. since his last yes, one. Right. <laughs> it's a great monologue, great story, great jokes. I think you should do this sometime again, Scott. It's a good I'd one. It's timeless it. and timely again now. Very timely. First thing I ever wrote. Yeah, there's a new Warren Baghdad. Baghdad. Hmm. I know. How did you quit smoking? Did you start again for this? Um, I've quit? done that so many times. It's hard to remember. Because remember you quit when we were when we were living together in New York. That's uh, right. right I probably had gone. Maybe. He saw right I quit soon after this because I met right after I met Satranga. Dove I quit. into the pool, right. fully clothed. <laughs> and, and are you smoking right now, Scott? No, I am not. I wanted everyone to hear that. Thank you. Me. A pepper mill looking for oh, I'm his having a cigarette. <laughs> but you're not smoking. Oh yes. Sarge was, was black. Which is odd, don't you think, him being Danish and all? <laughs> I was just thinking mm -hmm. that. Yeah, just, really? it's so, like... It moves like water? It moves like water. It moves, it looks like we know it's water. Mm -hmm. No olive. Mm -hmm. No olive? No. What's so buddy Poe without olive? So you weren't committed to this character? Not really, <laughs> no. I never thought he'd work. How many more sketches do you think there are? I think we're close uh, to the end. We got what's red. What's our clothes? They're all red. Oh, good, because I really have to pee. So do I. Really? Uh, yeah. I don't. I'm we watching myself. I don't need to pee. It'll be That's a transcontinental pee when we're done. That's right. <laughs> I'm actually smoking. Really oh. smoking. See, Scott and I are in Los Angeles, and uh, Dave and Mark are in Toronto as we watch this. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. It is. What's the time difference again? It's seven hours. Four days. Seven hours and, and four, days. four days. Seven hours and four days. So it's order. Monday where you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It's Friday here. It's the yeah. end of the work week. Uh. What happened on Wednesday? Did I get the job? <laughs> I don't know. But listen, I don't want to blow it for you, but Tony Blair is going to resign for you guys in about <laughs> no! yes. 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 a few days. <laughs> I can't wait till Wednesday. Kevin, you tell him all about Judge Stuffy. I was in this recording studio two days ago uh, playing Stuffy Judge. Mm hmm. PBS cartoon. True yeah, story. Very, very upset about was that. Was that the name of the character? Yes, it was Stuffy Judge. Yeah. Oh, not Judge Stuffy. No, no. Stuffy Judge. To use that analogy to a heterosexual uh, here comes Dave's joke. Whenever you mention anything remotely anal, they always rush out to vacuum their car. There we go. Good joke. Wish mm -hmm. someone would pull my collar out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It all good audience. Yeah. It was a good audience. I yeah. Wonder if the, the second show. Were yeah. regulars or... Well, the second show, we just we pulled it together, and we... But it couldn't have been just that terror speech, because I don't remember the first show being that horrible, horrible. I we remember there just, being a lot of technical We were glitches. very restrained, yeah. I think. And there were no, I remember very little laughs. Yeah. Well, it was an intense week. That was like a whole week of blocking. Yeah. Did we shoot this stuff after mm -hmm. all the Super 8? And... You know what? I have to go pee. Before. Okay, go pee. Can go we pause? Can we pause? L.A., can we pause? Or if you guys want to keep going without me. I'll hurry back. All right, hurry back. I'll pee then, too. Okay, I'll, what, what's going on? What can we I'm do? I'm going to pee. Oh, okay. What I'm happens going. to I'm, the technology here? Are they stopping here? it? Yeah, I'm pausing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this scene is uh, interesting. Oh. Now, we did this for the first time at the bottom line, then. Yes. Yes. For the first time? Well, Bruce used to do it as a solo scene. Didn't right. he? 
Naked for Jesus. And we really are naked. We got. We did not have permits. We had all of our this friends show up. This was guerrilla shooting. All our extra. Uh, all the extras are our friends. At like stuff. seven in the morning. And we're or all 6:30. naked. And there's Darlene, my old friend Darlene, who's in the <laughs> special <laughs> pregnant. She's probably really naked under there. Oh, of course she's naked. Because she's Darlene. She hadn't had her babies yet. You can see. That's Darlene's legs. <laughs> I know her legs. Mm -hmm. Well, one of them's Bruce. Bruce's legs and Darlene's legs look the same. Mm -hmm. This painting was up on that wall for a long time. It was a, yeah. a famous uh, Toronto landmark. Yeah, uh, Runt. Yeah, Did Runt. Runt? Runt? Yeah. yeah, the graffiti artist. And mm -hmm. Swinghammer has something to do with it, Kurt too. Kurt Swinghammer. No, it was Kurt Swinghammer that painted it. You're right, That's it's right. not Kurt Runt. Swinghammer. Chris, uh, famous Toronto musician. He uh, also a good artist. That's the building where Chris... Hey, oh, look. Steve Trump? Steve Trump was Steve naked. Trump. Steve Trump was a guy we knew from theater sports where he used to perform. Oh, yeah. And, well, and there he is. <laughs> and everybody naked. really naked. got naked. That was so much fun. The cops yes. didn't even stop us. She's naked. Naked. <laughs> that was so much fun. Now you better see a bunch of naked people. Public naked. nudity is really fun. It's funny, like, no one complained. We, we, no. Were, we were there for hours all naked. Mm-hmm. Whatever, yeah. The girls were wearing uh, stuff over their nipples, though. No! Yeah. Uh, Tiffany wasn't. My Darlene wasn't. Maybe she was. No, Darlene wasn't, for sure. Yeah, she was. I remember. You remember looking she at Darlene's showing tits? Them. That's me up on the ladder. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I got a bubble butt. Look at that. There's and Kevin. there's Kevin's there's butt. Oh, it's my ass. Oh, man. Yeah, and you're not wearing a sock over your well, Oh, that's Tiffany's Tiffany ass, the, the corner, long dark hair right? in the corner. Wow, does that's Tiffany's my ass look That's my fantastic. girlfriend at the time. Yeah. Kevin, like a classic Renaissance ass. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you carved it. Yeah. I carved it. That was my girlfriend's ass. <laughs> And then we go from nudity uh, to, to death. There we go. Now, yeah. Now, this is the last, Life and death. The last Not a scene, quintessential sort of. scene. Yeah, this, is, yeah, this is probably the one that sums it up. I'd say number one. Except that we don't Wouldn't it be ironic language. if we weren't allowed to use the scene because they couldn't clear the shitty music? <laughs> mm hmm And this was... Uh, or the plaid. Uh, this, this was a three-person three scene. This was a three-hander, yeah. That, that Bruce, uh, Dave, and I, mostly Bruce and Dave, wrote at Bruce's apartment. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, thought it'd be a good idea. I figured whose idea it was to make it a five-personer. Yeah. Well, we needed an ender, and there wasn't um, really... Yeah. It was this or suburbs, I, mean, I remember the discussion. Scene. We Should we do suburbs yeah, in its right entirety? Did we ever do suburbs in television? No. Never. No. I don't think so. Well, that's an interesting thing to do. We did it on our, our, tour. our tour. We did it on our tour in I remember digging deep to act here. I just remember... Yeah. Just yeah. tell the truth, Mark. Yeah. Just tell Major. the truth. Tell the truth, drink real yeah. beer. Yeah. That's where we show we can act. That's true, we had real beer for the second show, too. Yeah. I was thinking, boy, say fuck you, skate funny. I always used to forget that to Reg in the stage show. People would be mm -hmm. waiting. <laughs> oh, right! <laughs> we do it kind of straight here compared to how we do it nowadays. Perfect. Yet you yeah. never saw him with a comb. See any more I stories? Thought of in Bruce's apartment. Team type prisoner. Big sketch at the Rivoli. Mm -hmm. We actually you know, killed a guy. And again, this was. Uh... Oh. Then we started with this, didn't we? I think this was the first scene we did. Was it? Where? In front of the audience. You could be right. And then we did like two callbacks to it. That's right, we did. But then we cut them, I think. Yeah, we, we cut move them. it to the end? I think in the second taping, we'd we lost cut. the first two. They weren't working at all, and we just did this. Yeah. Now, is this a sketch that we did at Comic Relief when we bombed? Yes. We did bomb at Comic Relief. We did this at Radio this. City Music Hall to crickets. And it's a quiet sketch. We followed a 15-minute sketch on African starving. Not so much a sketch as a documentary film footage of people yeah. starving. Yeah. And, dying. and now the kids in the hall. And, and 15 <laughs> minutes of uh, Billy Crystal oh, doing right. shtick about his mic not working. Yeah, his mm -hmm. mic not working. So While we were sitting on stage. Yes. Was that not the same night when Bobcat cut his hair off on stage? Yes, yes, it, was. Amazing. yes it was. That was that was amazing. Kid and Play were there as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's right. right. We, I mean, we no, them, uh, Kid and Play Center. were in Memphis, weren't they, when we went down to do that <laughs> showcase? No, no, no. It was, no. It was Comic Relief. It's Memphis when they you... Were, house Party with... had just been released, and uh, they yeah. did a Then, we then it was a Reese because Ralph Zimmerman took us down to a college booking that was convention. Tennis, that was in Nashville. Nashville. 
Where was it that Kevin made out with the girl on the craft service table? That was, that was in Detroit, wasn't it? AIDS benefit of New York. <laughs> <laughs> was it in New York? Yeah. <laughs> AIDS That's benefit right. New York. The AIDS benefit. <laughs> they should have yeah. served margaritas at an AIDS benefit. <laughs> yeah. You made out with her on a table of food. It yes. Shouldn't, yes. So and she was quite straight predatory. People, only straight woman there. You found her. I didn't like her because she thought Howard Stern was funny. So you yeah. made out with her. Yeah. <laughs> but he made out with her with anger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I showed her. He necked, he necked vindictively. <laughs> Here it is. Bringing it home. <laughs> to Rich. I wish we could. Have, I wish we could put the uh, Dan Redican stuff in. Oh, look how gorgeous oh. that looks! I know. Yeah. Now, and here I, comes here comes the, the very red. first appearance of Danny Husk. Ah, is this that's right. It is. It is yeah. It is, and this is where he crushes cabbage head. I right? don't even say a word. God, it's beautiful that blue. I wrote this one because Robert Boyd made me stay in at 10 p.m. and said we need an ending. You know, make it with Head Crusher, and uh, so I wrote this one. Norm later told me that this was the worst thing in the special, and I, I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> it was 10 p.m. I wanted to go home, and I thought, uh, mm -hmm. well, Cabbage Head is an interesting head. Wouldn't Head Crusher want to? That way, Robert Boyd let me leave. It's a great idea. And I go on and on and on. It's because I wrote it. you to go on and on. Sorry. Yeah. My little cabbage friend. Typewriter. Before a computer. I remember writing this on a typewriter in the little CBC office on Young Street. That, really? That we had a pilot. I'm, there's Danny. There goes Danny Husk. Free mustache. Because the next thing, yeah. the thing that we, you and I did, Dave, together. Mm -hmm. Anecdote. That was the first piece. Mm -hmm. Anecdote. Remember? Anecdote. Oh, with Danny, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I remember you going on and on about how you loved this character you were playing that night while we were doing that. <laughs> yeah. And you yeah. named him Danny Husk. I did. I remember that, yeah. And I remember It was for another sketch. Going, uh, now I'm standing here, and now I'm going to stand over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ended up doing that. Hey, here. John Fortenberry. Danica. Mm -hmm. He just directed an episode of oh. Studio 60 I was in. Uh -huh. Keith Ian Raywood. Yes, I've worked with John Fortenberry since. Yeah. He's, did a lot of, he's done a lot of sitcom stuff, too. Mm -hmm. He does really good stuff. He, I think he just He's good. He's a good director, too. He thinks. Mm -hmm. Which, oh. I guess, is important for a director. <laughs> yeah, but not mandatory. <laughs> not, man not mandatory. Not <laughs> mandatory. Mandatory. <laughs> not mandatory. <laughs> John Ferraro. Diane Pauly. John Ferraro. Yeah. Sandy Werner. Our director. Eric Ellenbogen. Yeah. He brought us to a sushi restaurant. Yes. Uh, and said, this should be the I show. I love this image. This, I, this is my favorite <laughs> image of you, Dave. Mm -hmm. that stoop. There we go. Uh, that was uh, good. Well, good night. Good night, America. Good night. Thanks for well. watching. And Canada. Mm-hmm.